low point in your career? And if so, how did you handle it and get out of it? Um, yeah, I think the low point came after my soft, right around the end of my sophomore year in college. Uh, I started gymnastics formally at age 11, kind of late, but that's when I started. And, I, and it was just all out from there on. I, I loved the sport. I, I, I drank it in, I, I, I ate it, I, I breathed it, I slept gymnastics, it was everything to me. And, and workouts, as hard as they were, were still fun. It was fun. I loved learning something new, the thrill of acquiring a new skill, the thrill of having success in competition just fueled me. And then I remember my sophomore year in college, I, had, um, I, I was on the U.S. national team as well as on the UCLA team. And I had uh, I had to travel for all of our dual meets on the weekends, and I had to intersperse that with travel competing for the United States, going to England for a week, going to Germany for a week, going to Japan for a week. I remember coming back about a week before final exams, totally unprepared, <laughs> because I'd missed so much of my classes, and I just felt that burden, the pressure of having to excel academically and still having to maintain really good form for the big important competitions coming up, that all of a sudden everything was kind of crashing down on me. And for the first time in my life, gymnastics wasn't fun. And I remember it was a chore to get motivated to go to the gym, and that had never happened to me before. And I thought that there was something wrong with me inside. Something's wrong. Gee, have I lost it? Um, am I ever going to get it back? And um, and I remember going up to my coach, and, and I, you got to understand, I, I never took days off. I took one day a week off. That was it. Never went on vacation. I just did gymnastics year-round. And, um, and I'll talk about that later. I don't, I don't know if that's wise. But, um, but I, I remember walking up to my coach and saying, Hey, Mako, um, I was wondering if after USA Championships, if I could take maybe just a few days off. And I'd never asked for that before. We were in this thing together. We were training hard. He never took a day off, so I didn't feel like I had the right to ask him for a day off for myself. And yet, and yet when I asked him that question, I think deep down inside he knew I would never have asked them that, that question if, if, if I didn't think I really needed it. And he said, sure, yeah, why don't you do that? Take a few days off. And I was thrilled. And so I took like three or four days off. To me, it felt like a month. Um, and so I remember uh, my wife, who I was dating at the time, I mean, you know, we went to Disneyland one day. I went to the beach for a whole day. I did no gymnastics. And, and it was just, just carefree fun for a few days. And all of a sudden... But, you know, time to go back to the gym, and uh, I went back and and uh, got back into it. And it was a slow process. I had to kind of get everything back together, and but slowly and steadily, all of a sudden, all those the, the pressure was gone. Finals were over, and you know I had done well at the U.S. Championships. I think I won that year, so you know I still had some good things to think about, and um, and and some pressure was off my shoulders. And then all of a sudden, I was back to the routine of loving the sport, learning new skills, and having a fun time with it. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization MP3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the mental toughness trainer.